Yes, welcome to my high-end and frequency business podcast. My name is Lisette Lucas from the Netherlands and I'm an international trained high-end success medium and a high-end and frequency business coach. Throughout my podcast series, I help ambitious, empathetic coaches who aim for high-end success, fulfillment and ultimate life and business mastery absolutely living and thriving from their stardust potential. I'll give you the tips, the tools and energy shifts you need to shift to the next level of impact, abundance, freedom and absolute energy joy. So I hope you're ready to shift with me. Let's go. The infinite manifestation loop method, how shifting your programming and frequency bends reality plus free download. Yes, a very warm welcome to my high end and frequency business podcast number 37 already. And behind me, if you're watching the video, you can see my manifestation loop method. And I'll also share in the show notes at www.lizettelucas.com forward slash B37, the link to the free download of this PDF and of the images as well. So you can print it, save it and use it in your advantage. Well, what are we going to talk about in this podcast? Well, we're going to discover the loop that gives you what you want, but more importantly, it makes clear how you get what you don't want. Because to start, I can tell you, you already can manifest. It's not something you have to learn because you always manifest already. To be honest, you do nothing else. You're always manifesting. And most of the time we're manifesting what we don't want. And in this podcast, I'm going to make clear with my method, with the steps of my method, how manifestation really works and where you can interrupt the pattern because it's a pattern. And when you understand that, then you can make the change by shifting some of the steps. Okay, so buckle up, get ready. And really, when you understand this, everything, everything will change and shift in your life and business. So to make it clear for once over all, it's your programming. It's your programming that determines your reality. So it's quite easy. You don't even have to listen to this whole podcast. If you understand it's your programming and if you know how to shift your programming, then you can manifest. Okay, I understand that might be a little bit too fast because I always say insight is power. And when you get insight into the manifestation loop, the infinite manifestation loop, and when you understand the steps and when you understand where you can make the changes and how you can make the changes and how the process goes, then you can, well, bend reality because that's what it is. You can shift your frequency and change with the frequency within you and around you, your reality. So you can bend it by changing the programming. So when you're looking at the podcast video at this moment, or when you're just listening, I've created a loop and that loop contains five steps. And yeah, the first step is programming. But most of the time, people start with step two. So step one is programming, but step two in the loop is thoughts. And it should have been step one, but I made the choice to make it step two. Because if you want to create the change, you have to change the programming. Think about it as a computer. I mean, you can work with the computer, but if the programming isn't right, isn't correct, you can't work with it. So remember, the words you say to yourself and the pictures you make in your head, your thoughts, always create your state. Always create how you feel, the sensations you get, the emotions you feel. So that brings us to step three. Step three is state. So the words you say to yourself and the pictures you make in your head always cause you to get a certain feeling causes you to sense emotions and feelings, and that creates your state. Happy thoughts create happy emotions. Sad thoughts create a sad, low frequency, low vibration state. And I'm sitting in front of the, the picture at the moment, so you can see it in my background if you're looking at the video. So the thoughts, it always starts with the thoughts. The thoughts create the state. And when you're having low vibe thoughts, that creates that low state. 
And well, you probably can imagine, we've all been there when you're in a low state. Are you ready to take powerful action? Because that's the fourth step. And I'll shift a bit to the side. The fourth step is action. So what do you need for action? You need energy. You need power. You need a high vibe frequency. So what does my above the golden line method do for you? Oh, those steps. It changes your thoughts. It changes the words you say to yourself. That creates new feelings, new sensations, new emotions. That's going to shift your vibe and frequency above the golden line. And from that high frequency place, you can make powerful action steps. You can take action. You can just go ahead where you have that happy energy joy vibe resonating through you, around you, that golden magical stardust when it's all around you. How do you think you feel? High vibe or low vibe? Right? One of the most low vibes is the, the energy and frequency of shame. The energy of frequency of fear, apathy, all low vibes. When I talk about these words, I feel my body withdrawing. I'm, it's like almost being pulled backwards. But when I step into the energy of energy joy, happiness, gratitude, the frequency of love. When you start thinking and feeling what you're grateful for, who do you love? The, the littlest, tiniest things in your life. The fact you can... Feel your heart, the fact that you can breathe at this moment, whatever's going on around you, that can immediately shift your frequency, that can immediately shift your state. And from that place, and that step four, the action from that high frequency vibe, you can move forward to step five, or you don't even have to do anything about that because that automatically happens that creates a new reality for you. So when you go from step one to step four, from programming, thoughts, state, and action, you create a new reality for yourself. So think about it now. What do you want to shift? What do you want to create? What do you see in your life around you at this moment? Or what you think like, oh, I don't really like this. I don't like this in my reality. I want to shift my reality. Now you know where to start. At least I hope if you've listened and when you're looking at the method that you can download totally for free and with the free PDF that you get and the pictures, you get the steps in there as well. So it makes it really clear. You can print it, put it on your fridge, put it as a screensaver or whatever feels good for you. But then you know. If I want to shift my reality and bend my reality, I have to start with step one. And step one is my programming. And why do people forget this? Why do they think like, oh gosh, all those worries, all those thoughts, all those. That's why people say, don't look at the news. Well, sometimes you need to listen and look at it, but don't look at the news all the time. Don't listen to that low vibe frequency because the words you say to yourself and the pictures you make in your head create your state so when you look at pictures you put those pictures in your head when you listen to words that are low vibe and that's what the news all is all about it's all based on fear it's all based on the anger it's all low vibe below the golden line frequencies so yes i advise you to stay away because we are like a computer Whatever you put in, it sticks there. It stays there. It's not going anywhere after that. So that's why I say to, to people, young children as well, be careful what you watch. Because probably you've seen a picture of something on the news. And you can do this exercise with me. Think about a picture at the news that makes such an impression, a painful or a terrible impression that you can't get that picture out of your head. We all have those pictures, right? When I'm talking about it, I see, well, the, uh, the war in the Ukraine, people lying on the street, blood. I mean, that's a picture. When I think those thoughts, that picture comes forward and I feel my body, like my energy, like 
withdrawing as well. It's like ugh, the cringing feeling. So that's what happens. Well, and now we can think about a happy thought. But remember, as a human, we are wired. We are programmed to survive. So we're always more focused on fear and danger because that's our primal programming. So we have to learn and reprogram ourselves to think happy thoughts, to step in the frequency of gratitude, love, all those high vibe energies. But you have to train yourself. You have to do the work on a daily basis. I do it on a daily basis because things are happening around me. I mean, you get something in the mail or someone calls you with, uh, with some news, energy drops. It doesn't mean you don't have to feel it, but you can go through it. You can process it. You can look at it. And insight is power. And when you get more insight into that low vibe frequency, you can say, okay, life being life, there's something I can do about it or there's nothing I can do about it, but I'm choosing happy thoughts. I'm choosing happy words. And I call that the energy of energy joy, or at least step into that golden line frequency that's neutral, the acceptance, because that gives your energy, again, that magnetic pull, because then you don't have to push towards what you want. You can pull it in like a magnet. And you start attracting the clients you want. You start meeting like coincidence, like synchronicity, the people you you need in your life. And that all has to do with the above the golden line frequencies. Yes. In the show notes at www.lisatelikos.com forward slash B37, I'll share the link of the download, the free PDF download of the infinite manifestation loop method and as well the above the golden line method. You can download it totally for free. So again, if you don't like your reality, change your programming. And you're probably wondering, okay, Lisa, it sounds great and I understand it a bit better now. How can I change my programming? Well, there are several ways and yeah, this is what I do. I'm here to help you manifest what you do want in your life and business by upgrading your programming and by shifting your frequency. So if you want to know how you can work with me and you can work with me one-on-one or you can work with my programs. So there are possibilities for everybody because everybody I know is at a different time and a different place. But if you want to work with me or if you want to know what's possible, please send me a DM with the word manifestation. And again, the show notes are at www.lizettelikos.com forward slash B37. Well, I hope this made things clear for you on how you manifest and that you know like, okay, my first step is programming the most programming happens during the first 10 years of your life then you're like in a constant state of hypnosis you're like a sponge so everything that's coming to you at that moment when you're at such a young age that's the programming you use for the rest of your life so whether you're 30 40 50 whatever age you are you can always change it but again you have to do the work so you can start Changing your thoughts, those thoughts, those 70,000 thoughts a day, 70,000 thoughts. And those thoughts are influenced by your programming and the words in the pictures create your state. Your state determines whether you do or don't take action. And from that action, your reality is shaped. So again, it's up to you. And if you want to work with me, if you want to know how you can work with me, if you want to start manifesting what you do want, please send me a DM with the word manifestation. And I look forward to meeting you or seeing you again. And thanks so much for listening or watching. And please subscribe to my channel so you don't miss an episode and share this episode with someone who could use some high frequency insights and inspiration. I want to leave you with the word, go for it, because that's the action that you need to change and shift your programming so that you can step into the frequency of your infinite manifestation loop. Yes, thanks so much for listening. Thanks so much for watching. See you soon. Bye. Thank you for listening to my high-end and frequency business podcast. My name is Lisette Lucas, and if you want to join my energy joy world, please drop me a DM and really looking forward to connect.